Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. We've got some more books to review for you, or rather I should say bookazines. They're from the Scale Model Handbook series that we've already taken a look at, and these are the latest releases. And we've got two new titles, Figure Modelling 14 and number 15. They follow, of course, the same format. If you're not familiar with these books, they're soft cover with about 50 to 60 pages. And they're bookazines, really. Soft cover books, they've got a matte cover. And each one follows a format with a series of articles. They're in-depth and they look at a particular scenario or scene and so for these, I'm sure you want to get an idea what's inside. This ambush scene is obviously a Native American scene, and it shows, as an example, an introduction, plenty of text explaining it, the composition, how it was created, how the idea was hit upon, and of course, the construction. They tend to look in more detail at how you paint the figure, but there's also, of course, detail on the terrain. So that's the first story. And within this, there are eight or so. You also get a 200mm machine gun figure from World War II. And the premise here is how to paint a large scale figure with acrylics and oils. You also get a Napoleonic figure, a Greek hoplite. This one uh, is painted using oils. What else have we got? There's a private from the 93rd Highlanders in Crimea, a stormtroopers figure. Plenty of detail on painting the uh, bear skin from the fantasy world. And again, you can see the idea each time there's a concept to be explored, in this case painting a colourful medieval knight with oils. So that's a quick view of 14. 15, you can see it's got Michael Whitman on the cover and he's one of the stories in 200mm. There's also Captain from the Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders, Praetorian Guard, a private in 54mm from the Gordon Highlanders, an Iroquois from the Native American era, a look at the work of Pietro Belloni, and Rhino, a 75-100mm figure. That's great to see all the detail on the Whitman figure, all the different techniques. Quite a different set of techniques for painting a 200mm figure. Painting the black leather jacket there. Very useful. So you get different styles and techniques. That's the advantage of having different contributors. Here's that showcase from a master figure painter, Pietro Belloni. It's a good idea actually to have a sort of gallery of someone's work. Finally, at the end, Rhino, as it was called, this sort of fantasy mashup. Highly recommended, well executed, and available now. There's more videos on the website, and you can check out our Facebook, Google, and Twitter communities. Bye for now.